I can't help myself. Hey there, on the Goblin game mode video game. Yeah, uh, one last level, huh? Like, the game makes it very clear from the start how much there's going to be. The Ron's Goblin dog game. I mean, there could be a, something that opens up past the boss here. I don't know. I don't want to assume. But we're gonna go at a factory, whereupon all the honestly legally dangerous minions have been heralding from during the whole game. It's the dog wow. thing. You made it all the way to from Cruella's museum. toy factory. That's great. How did you get here? Well, actually, I got captured by one of Cruella's toys. It packed me into a crate and dragged me back here. How did you escape? Luckily, I'm skinny, and I was able to squeeze out through one of the crate's air holes. What? Ouch. So where do we go from here? You need to get past the factory's scary machinery, rescue the last of your brothers and sisters, and make your way to the center of the factory, where you will confront Cruella one last time. Is that all? It'll be a snap. I mean, it sounds like it's the solution is to play another level. <laughs> And I'm all for that. Factories, you know, I've just been going through a couple of video, uh, uh, factory levels in another game I've been playing. I'm gonna bark at this clown until it blows up, but then it still managed to headbot me. That was embarrassing. Anyway, I think I have a solid grasp of realistic factory level types, so I'm going to be okay. Is this where I come from? Is there, like, something here? It's super dark. Like my soul. All right, so enough of that. I'm sorry, that was embarrassing. I don't know where that came from. Here we go. Dog time. We got moving things everywhere. We got like moving textures on all the walls. We got zap, zapping sound effects. If you're into that, if you're into that specifically. All right, check it out. That thing is smashing. Oh, see, I didn't die though. Oh boy. Oh, that goes pretty fast, but not like super fast. I need to hitch a ride on that Stompo in order to be able to see there. And that gives me a look into the world beyond, but I don't want to go there yet, because I think that is where I'm going to have to go. Oh, that music, this music is fun. I, well, it's more the instrumentation, but it's still fun. It's like whistle, it's like the... Oh, oh. Navigating a conveyor belt is dangerous. You Probably don't want to do that, I guess. Bark at nothing of interest. All right, here we go. I'm somewhere. Big bone in the foreground. Check it out. There's a penguin. I barked at it. Now it's gone. Yeah, it's laws of physics. Ooh, big leap. Big sleep, as they might say, maybe. Let's give a sniffer here in case there's something here specifically. There was not. It's all I want to know. Here we go. High contrast. Dark blue and bright red. No, honestly, like, if there's anything I feel like needs complimenting about this game, it is the use of color. Like, of all things, might come as a surprise. Oh, no. Whoa, there. Yeah, your walking speed is pretty. Which way to the bathroom? Just sneak in through one of the air holes. You fool, uh, that strange dog could do that. Why couldn't you? Alright, so there's bones to get. Find the smasheria. They're making donuts out of flavored pasta. We I don't think that would be very good. I, I don't know, though. Alright, I'm somewhere. 25 bones and one guy. And uh, this guy's here. We're welcome to the weird smash zone place. Uh, I like the look of that thing. Yeah, honestly. What is it? It's some kind of crusher used to prepare metal for the robot toy assembly line. Ah, I see. <laughs> it looks pretty dangerous to me, Fluffy. Do you have any tips on how I can avoid being crushed like a recycled can? <laughs> Each crusher has its own pattern and timing. I'm sure that if you watch a crusher run for a few seconds, you can learn the pattern and get through safely. Okay, Fluffy. That's good advice. 
Again, I just think that's so wild how sometimes a game will take the time to like tutorialize Like what is whoa, whoa I'm going too fast maybe like very basic video game things But then you know then it'll kind of let you handle like other relatively possibly complex things. It's funny to me All right, so looks like this is pretty so the music here. I love it There's Something going on here I'm enjoying it quite a lot. What am I looking at here? Well, there's a clown box. Yeah, hello. That's pretty cool. I guess the floor is just failure floor. Flare, flare, flare. Yeah, that's where you get flayed. Don't go there. See? Getting flayed right now. It's not great. It's got... Whoa. We're like flickering into existence there, buddy. Having fun. All right, so I need to be able to see in front of me. Yeah, these get vacuumed up inside that ceiling hole. They do. Oh, Mr. Bobber Box. I remember seeing that texture. What feels like so long ago. I barked that box and the clown within gave me his bones. As is the natural order of things. Well, that seems to be the exact same pattern as before. Alright. Good. Gonna eat a steak. Factory steak. It's probably great. Maybe not. I don't know. Alright, so there's bones up there. More wild machine, it's the push matic It's the machine that push. I don't know, man. Don't worry about it. Man, I'll go, I'll go on them. Doesn't look like it. Well, here's warehouse. But, like, there's something up there. How, how does one venture forth up there? Can you ride one of these? And maybe I just didn't do it correctly. Oh, you, I think you might be able to. Okay. Just, eh. Just, yeah. No, it's the, pu it's the push machine. It is. Woof. There we go. There we go. There we go. But now there's none on the other side. What am I gonna do about that? Nothing, and well, that's not true, and you know it. Oh boy. Uh, well, I missed that one up. All right Let's redo this again. It's fine. I can do it I'm I'm glad they're not like spiked this one. I managed to just ride normally whatever. I'm still glad they're not spiked Like big old like damage bars or whatever There's ancient ruins written on these crates Preparing us for the final spell we will have to cast in order to uh, unsummon the devil and bring her back home. Where you know her family misses her. It's very sad, really. Alright, so, um, yeah. Ah, oh, oh, man, I wasn't in the right spot. It's like there's something about momentum that works very well. Here we go. I have to do it again for the other side. That's fine. <laughs> Help. See, here you can just land. If I'm jumping straight up and I'm not, I think it's more about. Oh, went backwards. So you gotta hurry up. And then you're in, the, in between. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, so here we go. We're redoing this, but slightly different. They remove the clown. That's the difference, I guess. Bopper toy! Favorite brand. I thought I saw something down there. Oh, hello, you. Try jumping on the flat box to get an elevator ride up to the next room. Sure thing. You mean one of those boxes? I guess they're pretty flat. Uh, oh, these, yeah, we got these wooden crates that are not Mr. Bopper. Well, yeah, perfect balance. Give me a sticker. That just kind of sits there. All right, good time. So, hey, you want to get smashed? All right, so we're going against it. Oh, uh, I died. Not instantly, luckily. Looks like there's a, well, there's a stake like right there. There you go. Health stake. It's a mistake for health. So how do I get you, huh? Good question, actually. Whoa. Um, good question for real. Oh wait, is one of them? Oh, no, no, they all work. Oh, but then they do weird stuff. Yeah, I'm not. 
Mike, uh, you gotta jump, like, just way early. Oh, or you can do that. Okay. Whoa! And then you get propelled. That's fun. You are! Whoa! Don't get smushed, please. So you just put your paw on the end and you get pushed forward. That's a lot easier than timing a jump, I guess. If you're gonna put it that way. What's going on here? This is the freakiest place I've ever seen, Fluffy. What on earth is it? Fluffy? We're inside Professor Farsboom's electromagnetic experiment chamber. Those cubes out there float on magnetic waves. <sighs> Can we do anything with them? Yes. Each of these switches will cause a different set of magnets to turn on, arranging the cubes into a unique pattern. You can jump on the cubes after they've been rearranged, but you'll have to hurry. The magnets stay on for only a few seconds. <laughs> okay. That's scary. So you get here, and you're like, I'm gonna press this button, I guess. Eh. So you do, you do have to use your psychic powers first, so you do that, then... That is wild. So I was supposed to go from... Well, I can go past here. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure, because now... I mean, can I pass now? Okay, you can go on these while they are inert. So that's good to know. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go ahead and get all the bones I can. This is the way forward, but there's a whole bunch of stuff up there, obviously. There's bird. Oh no, I fell down here. You're not dead for falling down here or anything. You're not really punished beyond uh, being stuck in a weird place. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll check one in case something happens. So I've activate you. Please float up. Like, can I activate others at the same time? No. So that's a pattern and that's it. But like, I don't have the means to get on there. This is very odd. Am I supposed to like race on the thing to be able to get into... There's a button, so I, I race on you. Wow, okay. Oh, now it's all here. Oh, and that's how you you can travel this way. Alright, well, oh, I'm completely misunderstood. Cool bananas. Okay. So you see them glow. And then... They just make that shape, and you realize it's very not useful. Great. This one I like. Because, like, it leads to up there, and from up there you can do things. If you can, like, actually understand how things are shaped, I guess. Maybe not? I... I don't... This is awkward. Activate you. I go on the red. Load up. They make this pyramid leading here. Okay, and this puts me here very clearly. Okay, so let's do more of that, maybe. Yeah, press the button. Go in the corner. You lift off. They make a shape, and from here I look around the world and I'm not sure how to- Oh! I misunderstood you, okay. So there's more of a ramp here, where you can like, uh, yeah, you can get down, you get pretty close to here. God damn it! But, like, the angle is completely wrong. Of the camera, I mean. I don't think so. Oh, there's a dog here, by the way, that I never saw somehow. 
I almost missed you. Like, I wish I had more control over the camera, I guess. So, yeah, I can get from here. No, like, how I... Uh... Can you please go on the thing? So I can use you to get these bones very easily. See, so you're very clear. I can't jump back on though, but that's fine. Oh my god, like, are, is... Alright, don't move, please. So you get here, which should let me squeeze into here pretty easily, yeah. Yeah, I'm just left with one container of bones left that just will not... Like, it seems to be this one, but I, I just cannot get it to work. Okay, I did it. What did I do different? I must have just timed my jump better. So, this is really cool in concept, but wow, did it make me struggle. But it's really neat in concept, like it's neat, it's super neat. That is accurate. Sleepy feather dog, alright, there we go. That wacky machine, finally. Oh, there's a lot going on here, possibly. Alright, well it's mostly a lot of emptiness. And then there's here, where there's fans that will blow you up. Not in the explosion way. Oh, and here there's also a lot of stuff going on. Alright, well... Yes, yeah, so this is what I was looking at. Whoa! Oh, this is what it is, huh? Alright, well, what if, once I'm at the top here, I can just, just jump straight up and do that and miss and fall and comply to Asha, finally. That is my one and only dream. Right, there's the bone I'm missing. Pretty sure, no, yeah. Leaving bones around in your moving machine is probably not Asha safe. Ezo 9000, though, possibly. There you go. Okay, I got that. Alright. Got you. Don't know what I'm doing. All right. There's like an equivalent of that on the other side, right? Isn't there not? I thought I saw another such machine somewhere. Is it here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right, gotta repeat that process. Get up here. Oh, miss the bone and fall off. That's what construction-based paradigms are all about. Why am I not able to just go where I want to, though? Oh, it's because there's... The game ha is extremely all about momentum sometimes, and... I'm just bad at that. Like, I think I'm just bad at anticipating and using... Yeah, it's mostly that. Anticipating and predicting and just, like, seemingly remembering that momentum is a thing. That's true for, like, every game. Sure feels good to be out of there. Now, good luck getting out of here. All right, so, but we're gonna. Oh, and there's things on that machine in terms of bone, bone-wise. Uh, but yeah, you can just use the fans to go up, so that's fine. Okay, this is silly, and I appreciate it. Can I do that, Joe? I could not tell. I'm still not sure if I can or not. Like, I don't know if I didn't make it because I can't or because I'm bad. All right. I mean, if I can't do it from here, from whence... Well, maybe, because you look at here, and it's a lot closer. But here there's a bun, which might affect things. Like, might make... Okay, okay, see, yeah, so I couldn't do it because it was something that was not meant to be done. I was wondering about that. Whoa, there's a bone on this gear. It's not something to worry about. Well, maybe you can. I'm not gonna tell anyway, it's fine. Purple! That makes that gear closer. I think there's bone on the machine directly underneath, so I had to fall on purpose. For two bones. Too large. 
It's all good to be a star. Whoa. Let's kind of mess it up here. All right, here we go. Lighter than air, puppy. All right, so then we go over here. Okay, so there's the end. I'm missing two boxes. So that's good. What are you doing here? Okay, puppy. You're almost at the end of the level, and Cruella is nearby. <laughs> Get ready, and good luck. Thanks for all the help, Fluffy. Just outright called it a level, huh? That's what we're doing now? I mean, I'm fine with that. I do that all the time. It's just funny. <laughs> all right, I'm missing. I thought I saw a box while the camera was, like, rapidly shifting through the universe. But I'm not sure. Like, it could have been any sort of, like, brown, square, cubic thing. Right, nothing else here. Time to sniff. Hopefully, don't lead me to my logo. Alright, there's something that has a stronger smell than a corporation. I'm not getting any arrows. Right, so that's telling me there's something directly underneath. See, is there not? See, I think it's one of these things I saw. Alright, well, we're going somewhere. Here's a spot where you can dig. What song does this sound like? I've been thinking about this in my head for a while now. Like, enough that it has been kind of distracting me. Oh, I thought that spinning blade was a big spot. I'll check if there's something out of the corporate logo alone, but I'm thinking that I'm just too close to it and I need to go far away and resume using my uh, sniffer from there. Not off, really? In the, in, in the flailing state? Is there gonna be a dig? Oh, well, there's a, an enemy here. Okay, fair enough, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna bark at you until you die. Get your single bone that was in the balloon. Worry about it. Well, you can worry about it a little bit. Sniffer's not doing a great job here. Can I use the box to go back? Oh, maybe I can go down this shipping zone. That'll bring me higher up in the level somehow. Wait a second. Try jumping on the flat box to get an elevator ride up to the next room. Okay, so you're sure just thing. you're just still here. So okay, so there's enemies here. All right, including steak and bones. Bird steak, yeah, indeed. All right, uh, still got two pups to find though. As many bones as pups. That's weird. Yeah, the crate maze, I kind of accidentally flew right through it. I can clearly see a puppy box right there, for example. There you go. Wow, it's really bright out here. Your disguise, your, your, your crate was too big of a disguise. Oh, there's a dig spot here, naturally. So, thoughts about the game. Since we're approaching the end, we're not gonna finish today, but still, I think this is worth mentioning. I am at two minds about the sniffer and its related mechanics. Like, I appreciate how it streams limes looking around. However, if you were going to make the case that it makes searching for things lazier, I feel like I kinda have to agree with you. Like, you're de-incentivized from actually searching all that well, because your sniffers is gonna do it for you. But on the other- oh, okay, that's a- that's a layer thing. But on the other hand, you can just go, I'm just not gonna use that mechanic. I'm just gonna leave that mechanic in the bin and I'm just gonna look for things on my own and it's gonna be great. But you can't do that because some bones are buried and will only be found with a sniffer and you need to press the sniffer button to like unearth them. So you're kind of, even if you don't want to use its ability to locate things, you have to use it anyways. Well, that's gonna be oh, whoops! I was gonna say, there's a part where you can, wow, where am I? Oh, I hadn't touched a bird since then, huh? Cool. Back here. So there's a place where I could see, like, at this equivalent place, 
I could see behind and I didn't jump there or even like really looked all that hard. I'm wondering if that's where I'm missing something. Here. You can jump up here and you end up right at the start of the level. All right. Oh, there's a dig spot right here, near the start of the level. I'm missing a puppy though, which is funny. This is just this is great left in a corner somewhere that I didn't see, as tends to happen. Um, okay, no, it's not there. So it's around here, possibly? So when I thought I saw a brown box, through a texture, I might have been right, but like I don't see where it is. Like here, it kind of freaks out. Okay, let's go into on the middle machine, maybe. Here, maybe from here I'll have a clue. Oh, now I'm getting like just weird disjointed arrows. Never really been here though, have I? And just nothing much here is probably why. Very clearly leads me here, and then wants me to jump off. Alright, I'll jump off. And it makes me go here in a circle. Then it throws me back on the fans. So I need to get it from high up. Nothing there, it doesn't look like. Oh, there is! It's totally there in that corner. Wow! Keep my paws on Cruella, I'm gonna... Like, you don't have full control of the camera. You can spin the camera on its side, right? But you can't have, you don't have an up and down. If you had the ability to look around like that, that would be easy to find, but... With the limits you got? No, that was it! Genuinely kind of hard one to nail. I am impressed. I'm gonna consider that Considering it's probably gonna be like the last puppy you get. I'm gonna consider that to be a choice made on purpose and uh, Good for you, honestly and Like you know the sniffer can help but only not so much. I I appreciate when it was done. Yeah, there's only 3% left. I don't think there's gonna be a level beyond uh, this boss activity here that's going to exist. So next time, we just might be looking at the finale. But that's funny. It's funny that this seems to be happening again. <laughs> You'll know what I mean when it happens.